Hi everyone, my name is Keith, a machine expert with USA Clean for 12 years, and this is the Bulldog WD-20 Auto Scrubber. In this video series, I'm gonna show you some general maintenance that you can do yourself to keep your machine running at peak performance, and it'll help minimize the cost and need of sending a service tech. Say you have a damaged solenoid snap switch or a damaged brush release switch, and you need to replace it. Now both switches are located behind where your foot pedal is for your brush deck. Super simple, this is how you do it. Now to make it a little more convenient to find the snap switch plugins, we went ahead and removed the batteries. Your snap switch plugins are located down here. So first what you wanna do is go ahead and disconnect them. Just like that. Now the next step we wanna do is there are two 7 16 bolts down over here by your brush deck lever that we have to remove. Now this whole plate just slides out like that. So at this point, if you have the bracket sitting in this position here, the first switch right here, that is going to be your solenoid switch. And the rear switch right there is going to be your pad release switch. Now, to replace either switches, go ahead and use a Phillips, small Phillips screwdriver. Put it in on the one side, and this is a quarter nut. Go ahead and loosen it up and remove the nut. And little washer. just like that, and then the snap switches or snap switch slides off just like that, and they're both the exact same. Now just reverse the steps to put on the new snap switch. Take your new switch, put it back on the two screws, hold it into place there, put your tiny washers back on, Tighten down these nuts. Just like that, and now we're ready to install it back onto the machine. So the next step is, we're gonna go ahead and take this back plate and reattach it to the machine where your foot pedal is. Go ahead and slide your Packard plugs up through. Line up your holes. Get your 7 16 bolts started. And all we have to do now is tighten them down. Just like that. And now all we're going to do is plug them back in. So let's locate the Packard plugs and go ahead and plug them back in. One. And two. And then what we want to do is kind of tuck these out of the way a little bit. Just like that. And then all we have to do is insert the batteries and plug it back in and you're done. Once again, my name is Keith. For all the parts listed in today's video, plus thousands of diagrams and how-to repair guides, be sure to click the link in the description below or visit us on the web at usaclean.com. Now, if you like what you watch, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. Stay safe and thanks for watching.